An interesting shakeup in the world of Skid Row with the band announcing they have parted ways with their vocalist, Eric Gronwall, who joined the band just back in 2022. Now, Skid Row has had a number of vocalists since the departure of Sebastian Bach, who, of course, was the frontman of the band when they released all of those massive, massive hits back in the 80s. And following his departure, Skid Row went on to continue to do very well in the touring world. And Sebastian Bach, in his own right, has also done very well, made television appearances, released solo records of his own. But something you've heard him talking about a lot over the last few months and years is that he would love to reunite with Skid Row, and he thinks that it's time for it to happen, and he seems to be in the right headspace for that to occur. Now, the Skid Row members have also spoken about this, and there's some interesting tidbits there, too. For now, Skid Row says they're going to continue with Lizzie Hale temporarily, who's going to perform a couple of shows with them that they have lined up. And so this is all interesting. And also, their vocalist, Eric Gronwall, has courageously battled leukemia. And so for him, why he's stepping back is because of what he's been dealing with uh, out there on the road with the compromised immune system. And it's just been very difficult, so much to go through, courageously battling that disease and then being out on tour and being away from home can be a challenge. So this is the statement that the band released jointly with Eric Gronwald. So there's a lot to go into here. It says today Skid Row and Eric Gronwald jointly announced that Eric will step down as the vocalist for Skid Row. Longtime friend Lizzie Hale of Hailstorm will be taking over vocal duties for the upcoming scheduled four concerts. Eric has decided that the travel and the rigors of the road is not conductive to his overall health and recovery and wants to focus on a lifestyle that is more amenable for his well-being, healing, and family. Skid Row is proud of what they have created and accomplished with Eric over the past two years, and we wish him nothing but the best for him and his health. To celebrate the last two years, the band will be releasing a live album that perfectly captures this moment in time in the band's 35 plus year history to be announced soon. So you can see there, there's no contention. They're actually releasing this live album together, which I think is awesome. And so this is what Eric had to say. He said, I got the opportunity to join this incredible band six months after my treatment against leukemia. And one month after that, I was on a world tour with Skid Effing Row. Wow. It was a dream come true. However, it proved challenging touring the world with an impaired immune system, which is the result of my bone marrow transplant. I respect and understand that Skid Row is a touring band since I can't prioritize my health being in the band. I have decided that it's better for me to step aside. I love Skid Row. I have nothing but respect for the guys in the band, but I love and respect my health more. I'm getting stronger and healthier every day, but after consulting my doctor, I need to allow myself more time to recover, which I can't do as the lead singer of Skid Row. That's why I have reached the tough decision to move on. I want to thank the guys for this incredible opportunity, and I want to thank all the Skid Row fans who have accepted me as the lead singer of this iconic band, Health First. And Skid Row and Lizzie Hale will happen in May 17th in Illinois, May 18th in Riverside, Iowa, May 31st in uh, Reno, Nevada, and June 1st in Sacramento, California. And so Lizzie Hale, obviously, we know that she is going to knock it out of the park. One of the best singers in rock. So make sure you head out to those special shows there with her because I don't think that's going to be a permanent situation. I could be wrong, but I think this is a temporary deal where she's going to be obviously focusing, going full steam ahead with Hailstorm. Now, in the broader sense, this presents an interesting decision for Skid Row, and it doesn't seem like they've made a decision at this time, given that they are performing with Lizzie Hale for the time being and maybe regrouping after. This is a legendary rock band and it presents an interesting question. Are they going to return and reach out? Could there be an opportunity here for Sebastian Bach to return to the fold with Skid Row? Now, Skid Row has had a lot of vocals over the years. Let's just look back on the number of different people that have performed with the band over the years. Here's the chart on their Wikipedia page. Red are their former vocalists. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six different vocalists currently for Skid Row. And so they could probably call back some of them maybe, but when you look at that era with Sebastian Bach and what they did together and what Sebastian Bach has said about his willingness to return and regroup with this band, uh, it's very interesting and it poses some interesting questions, but what did Sebastian Bach say recently? So get this, just a few weeks ago, Sebastian Bach was on the 80s cruise and he was participating in a Q&A and he was asked about whether or not he could ever return to Skid Row. And this is what he said just very recently. He said, there's no reason Skid Row can't be together. I honestly think that it's a business thing at this point, but we're all still alive. And let's get the hair band back together while we still got hair. 
I have no problems. I play with everyone, except for them. That's really weird. He said, how many of you guys watch Metallica's Some Kind of Monster movie? It never gets old. It's all about them having a therapist, and James can't rehearse past 4 p.m., and Lars is all mad slamming the door. But that whole movie is about Metallica working with the therapist, and nobody helped Skid Row or anything. It was like, you guys are on your own. Figure it out. And every book I read, Aerosmith, Motley Crue, everyone, it's about having somebody helping them. So maybe there's some therapist that wants to get paid some money and put the band back together. There's no reason that we're not together. He continues, when I wrote my first book, there was a lot of rotten shit in there. But right when that book was about to come out, we were talking about reuniting, I swear. I know that seems crazy, but it's true. And my manager goes, Sebastian, take all that rotten shit out of your book right now. I go, really? I think people want to read that. He goes, no, take it out. And I go, okay. So there's a file on my hard drive, my computer, that's called rotten shit that I took out of my book. And that might be my next book. He says, it's not that I'm hoping, but there's no reason why not to. There's no reason. They're like, oh man, he was hard to work with in 96. 1996, who remembers 96? Sorry about 96. Sorry, it's 2024. Can we move on? Or he says a number of really interesting things here, particularly the talk about the therapist, what it did for Metallica, etc. And I think that is a fair thing to throw out to your former bandmates because maybe they have concerns. Maybe they felt he was difficult to work with. And this guy's saying that he's willing to sit down with a, a group therapist and just talk through everything and rebuild that relationship. And he is talking about beef from the 90s, from such a long time ago, that it's kind of hard to imagine that there isn't something that they can talk about. Those were comments that were made a few weeks ago. Of course, we know why Eric left the band, but what we know now is that it's always possible that this could happen because less than 10 years ago, there were conversations taking place where the band could reunite with Sebastian. So in this situation, I say never say never. Of course, it might not happen, but to better understand this, let's look at what members of Skid Row have said recently about potentially reuniting with Sebastian. So check this out. Just back in January, the band's guitarist, Dave Snake Sabo, was asked about the potential that he could reunite with Sebastian Bach. And this is what he had to say at the time. He spoke to We Go To 11 and said, it's not even a part of any sort of thought process. This is Skid Row. And that conversation is 23 years old. And I have no desire to, I'm not interested. None of us are. It comes down to happiness. And we're really, really, really happy and where we're at and how the band sounds and feels. I love playing our music and I love playing it with the guys that we're playing it now with. And so I don't wanna change that. I'm in a great place personally, and I think we're all in a great place as a collective. This echoes a similar sentiment that he has said repeatedly over the years, which is that he's prioritizing his happiness and well being. And so he doesn't feel like he wants to go back into the past. Can factors change? Can times change? Can people maybe change their mind? Have any recent statements that Sebastian Bach has made potentially influenced them into giving him a call? I would imagine that this would be explored. I mean, again, they've had so many different vocalists. And at this point, I think that if you brought Sebastian Bach in, it could certainly be a very big deal to have them come back together and reunite. But whether that will happen, of course, is anybody's guess. But what we do know is for now, they're going to be performing with the great Lizzie Hale, and that's going to be really cool to see. Let me know what you think is going to happen in this situation. It's really hard to figure out what's going to happen here, but I always say never say never about a potential reunion and a Skid Row reunion with Sebastian Bach would be a big deal. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe and notifications on for the latest news and updates.